I thought I would go ahead and do another um, haul and vlog. I have some pretty good vlog footage. I'm going to try to include as much as I can that at the end um, of the haulage here so I can get up to date. So you'll probably see it go from green to snow. <laughs> Um, but you guys really enjoy the vlog, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that footage in there. Um, there's some good horse stuff, and then I've got some new uh, makeup goodies from some holiday collections and stuff like that that I thought I would show you guys. I'll just start off with um, two items from Burberry's Holiday 2014 collection. I picked up their Complete Eye Palette in gold number 25, and this does come with a pouch, um, like a little fuzzy pouch here with um, three different applicators inside of there, which... I never use, but um, the packaging on this is gold. Normally Burberry packaging is like a silver or gunmetal gray type color, and this, it's gold, so I feel like it's special. <laughs> but um, this is, yeah, gold number 25, and I wore this um, twice, and I really like it. Phoebe's trying to call up the curtains, but this is what it looks like right there. It is really, really beautiful. There isn't any matte eyeshadows in here. Um, everything's kind of got a satin shimmer to it, so, I'll swatch these. This is really, really nice. I really enjoyed the look that came out of this the other day. So there is those. Oh, you're going to have a hard time seeing that one. But they all have like a shimmer or a sheen to them, so... It's a beautiful, beautiful palette, though. And then the other thing that I picked up from the Burberry Holiday Collection was their Gold Glow. It's called a Fragranced Luminizing Powder. Um, I should have maybe done a little more research on this, but I thought I didn't think that it was going to be like straight up perfumed, which it is, because the Burberry Fresh Glow highlighter that I love has got a slight fresh scent to it, so I thought maybe it would just be a little bit amped up in this. But this is like, this is, I heard their newest My Burberry fragrance, and this is heavily, heavily, heavily fragranced. <laughs> um, it's going back. It, um, it's a weird looking highlighter. It's got like a gray green undertone to it. Like strong, strong, like gold, gold with the gray green in it. It's a really strange powder. I'm going to be smelling this for like probably the rest of... <laughs> it's right here. I should clean a finger. And on my fair skin, the way I like highlighters, this just isn't going to work out for me. But, you know, I, I almost think that if I mixed it with, with um, other things, I could make it work. But I cannot stand the smell. I don't know if you see that. Um, I, I, can't, I can't deal with the smell. The, the highlighter, the color itself is a little weird, but I could deal with it. But I can't deal with the fragrance. It's really too much for me, so I, I gotta send this back, which sucks. <laughs> then I got the um, Guerlain Meteorites uh, from the Holiday Collection this year, which they are called the um, Pearls de Toile, and they come in a special little tin, which... But it's gold and pretty and stuff, and it does come with a little puff. I always take the puffs out, because I feel like they just absorb product, and I don't use the puff anyway, but it does come with a really pretty little puff in there. And then the actual pearls... Um, they look like that right there. Now, I used this in I, uh, the my last Get Ready With Me video, and this put so much color on my face, I was like, this isn't for all over face for me. <laughs> Which, I definitely couldn't set my foundation or use this as an all over finishing powder, unless I did it super, super light. But, um, it is, it packs a lot of color. So, yes, was it yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday, I used it as a bronzer. I just put my bronzer brush in there and bronzed up my face, and it was really, really pretty as a bronzer on my skin tone. So, um, I do quite like them. When I first... When I first used them, I was like, whoa. <laughs> but um, now I can just use them as a bronzer, and they actually look very, very pretty that way. So that is the Guerlain Meteorites Pearls de Toile from the Holiday Collection. Then I also picked up another one of the Chanel uh, Le Four Ombre Multi-Effect Quadra Eyeshadows, and this one is in 232 Tisse Venetian. Um, this is what I have on my eyes right now, and it's really, really pretty. I wasn't sure what to... Um, make of it, I guess, but it's it's gorgeous on the eyes. I used, um, this is what it looks like right here. Everything in here has got a shimmer or sheen. This guy right here is a gorgeous color, heavily metallic, and it did have some fallout in it. Um, that's the one that kicked up the most product, but it's, it's a little bit uh, thicker of a texture, but really metallic and no mattes in this one. So I have this all over the lid, this one in through the crease, blended out, and then I have this slightly underneath the brow bone. But uh, it's a really, really pretty uh, quad. I didn't, I didn't know 
exactly what to expect out of it, but I really like it. So that is Tisse Venetian right there. Then I picked up Chantecaille's uh, two new duos. They're called the La Chrome Lux Eye Duos. Come in a box like this. These are a lot larger than I had expected them to be. Uh, I thought they were going to be like little smaller duo size. This is like a full size big compact. It's really, really gorgeous packaging. And then the actual shadows, shadows in here are quite large. Um, 0.14 ounces, so they're 0.04 ounces a piece. And this is what they look like. It says on the back of the box, the crease-free long-wearing eye shade formula can be applied dry for a sheer wash of metallic radiance or dampen for a liquid metal effect. I used them dry and they were really metallic dry, so um, that was nice. They didn't kick up a lot of product. Uh, they kind of have a, a really smooth texture in them, but they're really gorgeous. Really metallic, really, really pretty. This one here, I should tell you what it's called, right? Did I tell you? Piazza San Marco is this one right here really gorgeous. I wore these these two uh, duos here, I'm going to show you both yesterday and the look turned out so pretty. But that is Piazza San Marco. And then the other one is called Grand Canal and it is more of a green, greeny gold. This has got like a green um, undertone to it and this one kind of has a gold undertone to it. But uh, same type of uh, real smooth formula on them. But they're really, really pretty. Both, um, both of the duos are, are pretty metallic in my opinion. So there's um, Piazza San Marco and then there is Grand Canal right there. Then during the VIB sale, I did pick up three of the new Rouge Dior Bombs. And I didn't get my, um, my second order. I placed three orders, got the first one, got the third one. I haven't gotten the second one yet. I don't know why. Anyway, these I picked up three of these these Rouge Dior Bombs. And I have got on one right now. This one is Bluette. Um, I'll show you all three of them swatched and stuff like that. But I have on Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I'll list everything down below. <laughs> but I have on that lip liner with the Bluette over the top of it and I've just been wearing it a ton. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. They're new products by Dior. I'm like, I feel like I'm all over the place. Anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. It is super pretty. And then this one here is Primrose. Which I've also been wearing quite a bit. Um, they're like tinted lip balms, but I think that they have a little bit more pigmentation to them than a lot of tinted lip balms, and they feel they feel really really nice on the lips. I've really been enjoying wearing these. And then th that one there is a uh, 488 Primrose, and then this next one is 288 Bluette, which is what is on my lips right now. It looks like that. Got a little bit of lip liner on there, but. That one, that one is the least pigmented out of the three that I have, but it is also like one of the lightest colors. So that is Bluette. And then the other one that I picked up is called um, 468 Spring. And it, see it's got a little CD in there, but this one is more like a, a corally shade. So that one is uh, Spring, 468. So you have got Primrose, Bluette, and Spring. And I really, I really like these. They feel really nice on the lips. I've been wearing, I've been wearing these two right here pretty much since I've gotten them. So that is those. This is what they are right here. The Dior Rouge Bombs. That's what the box looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. And now if you're interested, you can hang tight and um, we'll get into some vloggage. <laughs> I just filmed a Too Faced uh, video, their holiday stuff that I just got, and now I have to go outside and haul hay. And it's kind of warm outside, but I gotta wear a sweater, otherwise I'll scratch up my hand, my arms. <laughs> uh, you guys can come and help, totally more than welcome. <laughs>
it's just me and my mom. And we're going to put it on that flatbed right there. Fun stuff, I tell you. <laughs> my eyes are just watering. I can already tell I won't be breathing good tonight. Say hi, Mom. Hi. <laughs> Sweating like a pig. That's how far we got. Right here is the stack. Hi, the Dills. Now we gotta go over the hill. Over there. Having fun yet? Onward! <laughs> I'm a filthy mess. Yeah. Yeah. Now we gotta drive back there. Here's my stack. Stack, if I say so myself. What do you guys think? <laughs> Here you go. Oh, hopefully my mom knows how to drive, so I don't fall off of here. Holy smokes! It's windy out today, and my allergies act up real bad in the fall. I will not be breathing tonight. I tell you what. Actually, we have to unload this stack into the barn first. Think I should fill up my little wagon? Yep. Huh? Get that little chihuahua out there and tell him to get to work. <laughs> Load up your wagon. Look at the cute little stack I loaded up on my dad's commander. <laughs> I gotta go jump on a four-wheeler here. I'm wiped out, I think. Oh. We gotta put that in high. I'm gonna drive 100 miles an hour back. <laughs> I suppose I should let the brake go, right? the Urban Decay video with my eyeshadow here. I gotta go fix some fence right now and then take some pictures of some horses in the barn, so. <laughs> Dogs. Um, it's too far down on her nose. I don't really like it, no. What halter do you like? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> we have to load this hay now. Say hi! Say hi! That's my brother, my little big brother, and that's my BF. He's, he's a bull rider turned farmer now, I guess. <laughs> what? Oh, like, uh, 
Tetris. <laughs> you just follow the pattern that's going on. No, you start where you're at. Build that corner up the way it is, you know? Mm -hmm. Is this your first barbell experience? No, it is. <laughs> You guys wanted to see Smokey. Here he is. He was a darker color and now he's lightening up into a, a little uh, blue roan paint. And there's his mom. <laughs> We're losing daylight here, but pretty cute, aren't you, Smokey? Pretty cute, yeah. Don't you even think about it, boy. I don't be biting me. I'll whoop ya. <laughs> hey, you're you're kind of naughty, hey. Naughty little horse. Better go back in there. I better feed these guys. Sleepy kitty.
hey, 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 cruiser, you behave your naughty self. 